I'm going to be showing you how to mine Zealus or XLS. I'm not really sure how you actually pronounce it. So Zealus is an innovative cryptocurrency built from scratch. Obviously, the main draw for this was that it was built on Rust for guaranteed memory security. So kind of jumping off the hype of Casper coin, moving over to Rust. Somebody's developed on Rust for a block tag plus homomorphic encryption, smart contracts and joining the technical revolution. So obviously all the documentation, I'll link this in the description. As for everything else that I use in this video, it'll be linked down below. So I just want to mention that I do have a video on how to set up the wallet. So that's the first part of actually mining this Zealous coin is setting up the wallet. It's not exactly a complicated thing, but I didn't want to put it in this video just because there is some command lines that you need to go through. So I separate it out. You can watch that as well. It's linked in the description, probably going to be the first link in the description to show you how to set up a Zealous wallet address. Alternatively, and I wouldn't recommend this, you could get this from Trade Ogre or any exchange that is currently selling Zealous right now. But once you have your wallet address and you've watched that video, it's a very quick video on how to basically do the command line, run your own node. You don't have to keep the node running, but you need to run the node if you wanna start up your wallet and see all the pending balances. However, once you've got the wallet address, come back to this video and we'll start mining. So today we're using Regal Miner, as you can see in the latest releases. As I said, it'll be linked down below. Added Zeal Hash, which is the algorithm for this coin, with a 3% dev fee, including plus Zill, so we can get a little bit more on that as well. And then there's pre-approved supported pools as of now, so ViperNet, which is what we're going to be using today, K1 Pool, Balkan Mine, and Zell Pool. But today we're going to be using ViperNet, so what you want to do is download Regal Miner, so we already have it downloaded here. And then you obviously want to extract the files. So I think it's going to be this one and it'll give you all these batch files. So they've already set up a batch file for you here, which is X E L. So in here, if we just open this up, edit, and then we click on more information, wait for it to show up more info run anyway. So if you didn't know in a minor file, if you have these two dashes, it means that it will skip all of this text. So it's not going to run any of these and it's not going to run to K1 pool. So you can basically keep it all there. And all you have to do is edit this line and make sure that there's not two dashes or colons there. So we're going Regal Miner EXE. This is the hashing algorithm, stratum and port. So I believe that there's only one pool. If we look here, there's two. So there's one for TLS and then there's one normal. So I don't actually know where the server is based. I believe that it's based around probably America just because my milliseconds or latency to the pool when I'm actually mining is around 100 milliseconds, which normally if it's closer, it'll be around five to 10. So I believe that the pool is actually in America. So you'll get better shares and less invalid shares if you're mining in America to Viper pool. And then, as I said, once you have your wallet address, you want to paste that in. So we have our wallet address sitting in this file here. Let's just get it from this file. We'll edit. And here is our wallet address there. So we're going to copy that. And we're going to come back into this file and paste it over your Zelle wallet there. And then you can obviously name your rig if you want. Log to file. Just leave all of this. And that's basically the miner set up. So the main thing that you'd want to do is actually obviously get a wallet address, which as I said, previous video on the channel will show you how to get you one of those. So once that's all saved, you want to just exit and save, and then you come back into the file. Where is it? And you can just double click this file and it's going to start Regal Miner. Now, once you've double clicked, it is going to look like this. As you can see, we're getting shares on the pool. We're sitting around 60 kilohash, but it has gone up to 80 since I've been mining. 52 degrees, around 100 watts, but it keeps fluctuating between 80 and 100. I don't know why it keeps doing that. As you can see, the core is at zero. We'll talk a little bit like that after. And the hash rate is 45 kilohash as it's displaying there. So latency, if you didn't just see then, you can pause it, go back. It was at 100 milliseconds on the pool. So we have a bunch of things that I'm going to cover right now in regards to overclocking. So when it comes to overclocking, we want to actually edit it in the batch file. I don't have any figures for overclocking right now, but I know that from doing a bit of testing, it is a very memory intensive algorithm as opposed to core. So I did test it like up in the core a lot or up in the memory quite a lot. 
The overclocks that I actually settled on, if we go back here, this is only for a 4060, so I wouldn't expect it to be that good. Uh, the overclocks right here, we have fan control 90, which we could have actually taken this down a little bit. The mem clock is put to 1200, so plus 1200. Lock the core clock at 2600, so I just locked it at basically the zero figure, so nothing plus, nothing minus. And then obviously the power limit. It's kind of up to you how much power you want to draw, but mine was around 85 that I wanted to keep it at. So the reason I say there's not really many good figures is because normally people will get their basic understanding of overclocks on Hashrate NO or a site like that, and then they'll do a little bit of tweaking to those overclocks. However, Hashrate NO doesn't actually display any of that right now. So I believe that this is because it was on CPU and now it's kind of CPU slash GPU, but GPUs are taking over the network. I'm sure Hashrate NO will display overclock soon. But in the meantime, if you want overclock parameters, if you go back to Regal Miner and then you click in here, you should be able to find all the overclock parameters if you scroll down by here. So we only had core clock and memory clock, power limit, and the fan control. So that's what we did. Sorry, we did lock the core clock though. So we locked it to a certain frequency, but we actually just plussed, so offset the memory clock. So I think this is a highly memory intensive algorithm. I'm not really sure, please leave it in the comments below. But from what I've done in overclocking, it seems to be more memory heavy on the overclocking side. And lastly, if you are gonna overclock, remember that you've got to right click on the actual EXE file, and then you've got to go to properties, compatibility, and make sure that this box is checked. So run this program as an administrator. And that's how you can apply your overclock. So don't forget to do that if you're overclocking within the batch file. So just quickly, when it comes to profitability on Zealus, obviously we just showed you that video. We are sitting around 85 kilohash. I'm just gonna average it at 90 watts. The miner fee right now, I believe on Regal Miner is 3% and the pool fee is 1%. So when we click and calculate, this is at 10 cents per kilowatt hour. In revenue, we have 16 or 17 cents. Power cost is 22 cents minor fee one and then a little bit from the pool fee so profits aren't there for the 4060 i'm sure a lot of the other more efficient cards 3090 that's probably going to be a memory heavy card 4090 all the 40 series are probably going to be profitable and i'm probably willing to bet that a lot of the 30 series are profitable as well but i don't know you guys can tell me in the comments what you're kind of getting around in terms of profitability or hash rates and efficiency for this right now it's not profitable for every gpu but it is profitable for a lot of them. So I know that it's not showing in this profitability calculator and that's because I don't think they have figures for the actual GPU. So if we click here and what would we scroll down to X? So they don't have it listed, which means that it's not in the listings for hash rate NO quite yet. So when they do get figures for GPUs as in the benchmarks, that's probably when this will update to show revenues and profits for those GPUs mining on Zealous. So hopefully you guys learned how to mine it and a bit about overclocking on this algorithm. If you do have any problems, please leave them in the comments below and don't forget to check out the how to set up the wallet address video before coming to this video. And I guess I'll see you in the next video.